folks, thought I'd make a video today, and today's video is going to focus on the Christian heavy metal band, Baron Cross. So, I recently picked up a CD bundle of three of their new remastered uh, CDs, thought I would do an unboxing, but of course, due to the coronavirus, I'm doing my unboxing a little differently to try to stay safe. But really, unboxing isn't so much about taking the stuff out of the box or, or envelope. It's, it's really more about seeing the product. So I'm going to let you see, um, try to give you a good show on what, this, what these new uh, reissued CDs look like. I also realize I haven't done a collection video in several months. And since... I love this band, but they don't have a whole lot of albums out. I thought I would just show the entire collection and give you kind of a two-for-one video here, both unboxing and a collection video. So let's get started. Now, Baron Cross, I, I just looked at their discography. They had a demo called Believe, and of course, I don't have that. Then their first album, official album was Rock for the King. While I don't have an original copy of that, I do have that album, I believe, came out in 1986. I do have the 1990 uh, reissue on CD. Now, I'm not sure exactly what was on the original uh, vinyl or CD. I do know that this comes with what looks like five live tracks for a total of 15 tracks, you know, 10 studio, five live. That's what it looks like on the inside. The booklet's pretty simple. It just folds out and has some lyrics. A few credits on the back. Here is a track listing, if you're interested. So the second album was Atomic Arena. And I believe I picked this up a year or so ago from Gerter on vinyl. Of course, their original label was Enigma, and that's that's this copy. Um, let me let you take a look at the back. There you go with the track listing. So the first album or CD I got in the uh, package was the uh, new remastered Atomic Arena on CD. This is from uh, Retroactive's uh, Legends Remastered series. The book on this is excellent, very thick, very thick book. Um, Good picture of the band. Then you have uh, lyrics with more pictures. Have a collage in the middle. More band pictures and lyrics. And in the back you got another band photo. The disc looks good. Underneath you have another band photo, and there's the back. The third album was called State of Control. Here is my, my uh, original copy on CD. This was put out by Enigma. Actually, if you look closely... If you look right there, you see Benson and Enigma on the back. And that is probably because of a distribution deal between uh, Benson and Enigma. Enigma being the uh, label, I believe, that held the contract for Baron Cross. And uh, Benson probably just got an agreement so that they could put, it, put this album in Christian bookstores. That's what the uh, original 
disc looks like. The booklet on the original CD is just a fold out with uh, lyrics on the inside. There is the back of the original. Then you have uh, the new, here is the new remastered version of State of Control. This particular CD, if you look there in the red, now my CD uh, has all the songs except for the very last one, Escape in the Night. Here's the uh, what the new CD looks like. Uh, this has a re another really nice book, a uh, thick book. See band photo and credits, more band photos and lyrics. Lyrics big enough to where you can actually read them. Um, of course, in the middle, you got a collage again. The layout's very similar. Here's the very back. And then band photo on the back. So very nice packaging on the uh, new one. So then after um, State of Control, they did a live album. This is, um, I'm going to pull this out because the case is cracked. Uh, Baron Cross, Hotter Than Hell, live. Again, this... They really uh, did a nice job on the books. Uh, they all have a similar format with uh, band photos and credits. And then kind of doing almost like, looks like three songs at a time. Lyrics. And, you know, another collage in the middle. More lyrics, and then in the back of this one. Well, this this uh, live album has so many songs, they just keep doing lyrics all the way through to the back. And then there's the back of the, the uh, this live disc. Here is the CD. And then finally, the uh, back of the uh, new remastered disc has uh, 14 tracks. So I have to say that Retroactive Records did an outstanding job with these new discs. And uh, I really recommend, uh, if you haven't picked them up, if there are some still available, you need to do so and do so quickly so that unfortunately is the end of what i have in the collection there are two pieces that i will be looking for and hopefully will will locate at some point uh, maybe maybe they'll do reissues on these two albums i'm about to mention and that would be um their next studio album, which was called Rattle Your Cage. Love to see that reissue. Then the next album I'd like to try to pick up is a live album called Birth Pangs. And I think that would do a pretty good job of rounding out my Baron Cross collection uh, as far as CDs are concerned. Anyway, that's what I have on Baron Cross. Hope you enjoyed seeing the new CDs. Like I said, get them, get them quick, <laughs> and uh, and hope you enjoyed the rest of it as well. Uh, stay safe, folks, and uh, we will see you soon. Later.